As described in the previous video, the administrator has the possibility to create work packages to reduce time and effort on assigning thousands of labels. They are used to cluster a group of labels for a better overview and have to be structured in two main levels, in work packages and sub-work packages. As already shown, they are created globally by the administrator or dedicated user with a work package admin privilege. In addition to the global assignment of labels, further administrative tasks are to globally define the timetable and import target scores. This refers to targets reached at a certain time in the project. Quality gates are an extended functionality of work packages. This functionality enables project members to monitor the completion status for each work package and sub-work package, as well as for the whole project. So the required steps for working with quality gates are first, creating work packages, second, assigning work packages, and third, defining quality gates. In this video, I would like to go into more detail about quality gates. So after creating a structure of a global work package, you have to create an Excel template. The entire content of the Excel template has to be equal to the work package definition determined within Krita. The target score is the individual minimum score for all work packages, sub-work packages and quality gate steps. The quality gate steps are predefined points of time specified in days and relative to the start of production date. In the first quality gate step, for example, we have 245 days to the start of production and in the second one, 214 days. The cell format of the Excel template used for exporting Krita scores must be the category number. Do not use percentage. The minimum score indicates a status which has to be reached at a certain time in the project. Unlike the minimum score which must be imported, the average score is automatically calculated during export. So before defining the start of production date, make sure to define minimum scores and quality gate steps. After creating an Excel template, the start of production date must be defined for each variant in the project. Therefore, switch to the Attributes tab and define the start of production date. Then you can create a timetable for each valid global work package definition. Therefore, click Work Packages in the Edit tab to open the Edit Work Package Definitions window. Then click Edit Timetable. Here you can select your Excel template. On the Timetable and Settings tab, you can now apply your required settings to import the target scores from the Excel template. Under Worksheet, you can enter the name of the worksheet used for the import and export process. The number of the first data row identifies the first data row in the Excel template. For the subwork package column, enter the character of the column that contains the names of the subwork packages. In this case, it's C. This information is used to check the structure of the Excel template. For the label count column, enter the character of the column used to count the amount of the exported labels per work package. In the grid, you can see the days before the start of production in the delta days column. In the import minimum and average columns, the minimum and average label scores are imported from the Excel template. Label with minimum label score of a work package exported from Krita are shown in the export minimum column. The column export average shows the sum of label scores divided by the amount of work package labels exported from Krita. The description shows information which can be imported and read from the Excel template. In this case, the names of the quality gate steps which have been imported are shown. Then you can import the target scores by clicking Import Target Scores. After the import, you can assign labels to global subwork packages as described in the video about work packages. Quality gate reports are a powerful instrument to monitor the progress of your calibration project. To create a work package report, I log in as a calibration manager and double-click the desired dataset. On the Work Packages tab, click Reports and select Work Package Summary from the shortcut menu. Select the path to the directory where the report should be saved. In the next step, you can select Fields for the report. Click Next to see the status of the process. 
After finishing, Krita fills the Excel template with the scores out of the revisions and stores the report under the specified name and path. Displayed in a chart, for example, it can look like this. Here you can see the quality and processing stages in relation to the quality gates. As project engineer, you only have view permission on quality gates. On the Work Packages tab within the Labels window, subwork packages, which do not meet the required score of the quality gates, are highlighted by a red bar. By default, the information according to the latest import date of the selected revision is displayed. You can select another date from the list box or by using the arrow keys. To summarize, the main benefit of quality gates is to have the status of project completion available at any time and especially early enough to perform necessary actions if, for example, it is obvious that the start of production target date cannot be met. Quality Gates, as an extended functionality of work packages, enables project members to monitor the completion status for each work package and sub-work package as well as for the whole project.